Hey guys, what's up? Brian here. Thanks for tuning in today. You know, I've been looking at a lot of bikes with stripes lately, and I finally designed a set that I really liked. Let's go get those put on. Now I know a lot of us actually know each other from some of the groups that we're in, such as the Roadstar Warrior Forum or some of the Facebook groups. And guys, if you haven't yet, be sure to join those. They're great places for knowledge, and a lot of the people in there are really awesome, and they're willing to go out of their way to help you out a lot of times. My wife makes custom vinyl decals, and we were actually contacted by a guy in one of the Facebook groups to make a custom skull for his bike. You may have actually seen his bike in one of the videos that I put out before. It was Matt's White Warrior, and with a custom paint job that he ended up putting on it, it actually came out really good. We were actually contacted by another guy out in Hawaii, and he actually wanted us to do a set of stripes for him, as well as a couple of vinyl decals for his band. Todd ended up being a really great guy, and we kept in contact afterwards, kind of going over different ideas of stripes and different designs and everything, and he actually planned on painting his bike and wanted to go with a different set of stripes when he was done. Now, like I said, I've been looking at a lot of bikes and a lot of different designs for stripes lately and kind of seeing what I thought. And this is the one I came up with, and I'm really excited about how it came out, guys. Let's get it installed. Where do we go? Where do we go from here? My thoughts inside are all over the place, like I am drowning. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and remove any kind of hardware on your fender and go ahead and clean it really well. You don't want anything on there underneath the vinyl when you go lay it down otherwise it's going to create air bubbles and it's not going to look good. Now from here you can see I went ahead and measured out and put a center line all the way down my bike. Now I'm just hoping that's going to help me kind of lay down that vinyl and kind of keep it straight whenever I'm going. Now I did have to remove the two vinyl pieces underneath of the seat that keep it from rubbing on the fender so that I can run those lines all the way through. And before we lay it down, we're gonna go ahead and take the bike and wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol. Now what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna go ahead and take this vinyl, lay it out exactly where we want it, and we're gonna go ahead and tape the center of it right over the top to kind of hold it in place. That way when we peel this back, we can go ahead and remove the backing from it and lay it down. And then we'll be able to go ahead and remove the backing on this side and lay it down. And I'll kind of show you a little bit more what I'm talking about when we get into it. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and lay this out however we want it and go ahead and tape down the center right here. All right, now I've got everything laid out kind of the way I want it. And I've got it taped right across the center here. Now I've went ahead and measured out from the centers on everything and made sure that everything lines up really well. Now like I said, from here we're going to go ahead and flip this vinyl up and we're going to peel back this backing and go ahead and lay it and then we're going to start from here and just work our way up following that center line because this is actually going to be clear and it's going to allow us to see that center line as we're working our way up and hopefully we'll work out any kind of air bubbles as we go up. All right, so we'll go ahead and peel this back, peel back and vacuum. Now I purposely went ahead and left a little bit of overhang because I'm going to trim this bottom and I just wanted to make sure I line this warrior up exactly where I wanted it. So now while I've got this up, I'm going to go ahead and cut this paper back. And that'll actually allow us to see our line down here. And from there, we're just gonna go ahead and line it up, start laying that vinyl down. Now you wanna kinda of start from the center and work your way out to keep any kind of air bubbles from forming. Inside, are all over the place, like I am drowning. Now once you've got that to where you like it, to where you think everything looks good, you go ahead, remove your tape, peel the vinyl back to where this is, and then you're able to go ahead and start working your way back from there. 
Now you may actually want to have a second pair of hands on this to kind of hold that vinyl up while you're kind of going and smoothing it out because like I said you're going to want to work from this side and work your way all the way down and it's kind of going to be a two person job. Holding that vinyl up while you're doing it is going to be a lot of work to try and do it by yourself and hold that vinyl up and keep everything just situated and centered. Now like I said you can kind of see that center line right through here and I am lined up just perfect on it so I'm very happy with the way that worked out. Now this tape like I said is going to help you actually keep everything centered and nice and ready to go and this backing is actually going to help you out as well whenever you pull this out that vinyl is actually going to stay connected to this backing so that will actually also help you kind of lay it straight. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish this up guys and I'm going to go ahead and show you the finished product. All right guys, now here's the finished product. Here's what we came up with. Now it came out really well. I really like the way that the uh, Warriors cut out and the way that that paint kind of shines back through it. Now if you do end up coming up with some air bubbles in it guys, the best thing to actually do is go ahead and take just a small pin and kind of poke that and kind of just work the air out of it if you're not able to actually work it out of the sides of the vinyl. Guys, thanks for tuning in today and actually watching this video with me. Like I said, these are actual custom vinyl decals that my wife does make. So if there's something that you want, get in contact with me and we'll see if we can't come up with some kind of design for you. Now guys, I'm really happy with the way that came out. And like I said, I love the way that that cutout on the Warrior lets that paint kind of come through the back side of that vinyl. And guys, as always, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like and share this video. Also, if you're new here, scroll down and hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified of new videos when they come out. Other than that, guys, we'll see you next time.